This is a quick video to discuss how to get data from a CSV file into SALT so that you can analyze it as needed. So here I have an example data file. I have it saved as a CSV. This is particularly important. You may need to go into and say save as. And when you say save as, save it as a CSV file, right? So that's gonna be one of the options. Uh, if you go up here and name your file as .csv, that will typically work as well for most, most uh, functionality. You'll get a little warning here. If you have any sort of function or any sort of formatting, that's not going to be saved, but it doesn't matter for this because I only need the numbers that are in here. All right, so I have this file saved to my computer and I wanna go here into salt. These are all of the built-in data sets. Most of the time you will be getting one of these. When you click into salt from your homework, it will automatically load up the relevant data set. But for now, I have an external data set that I want to upload into SALT. So I want to upload a raw data set. These are unsummarized observations. You could also upload a frequency table or a two-way contingency table as needed once we start working with that particular type of data. But this is just a raw data set. So I want to say I want to upload it. I find it will open up your browser for your files and you will choose that particular CSV. You will notice if you have it saved as an Excel file, an XSLS one, it will not, it will be blurred out. You cannot upload it. You have to upload a CSV file, which is why we saved it that way in the first place. So if you have your CSV file, I have it in my folder here. You may need to navigate around and I will select all variables. I want both of my variables. You remember these were my headings. I want both of those to be in there. They are numerical variables. I can choose for each one, whether it is numerical or categorical, right? Remember that from earlier on in the course, but these are both numerical variables and I will select. All right, so now you can see that my 20 rows of data with each piece of data in there are in salt. So now this is example data for salt. And if I want to go into my descriptive statistics and I want to know the sum and the sum of squares and all of these values that I may want, these are automatically being um, computed. If I want to do a one sample t-test on the x values, I can do that as well, right? So all of the things that we know how to do, suppose I want to know whether or not the mean is, oh wait, what is the mean? The mean is five. Okay, so the hypothesized mean, say I think it's five, it should be five. These are actually random numbers from zero to 10, so that's probably about right. And if I go in here, I am testing whether or not the null is mu equal to five, right? So that's the way that you can upload your data into SALT so that you can do your descriptive statistics uh, and your inferential statistics. And I will end by making a scatter plot of the data that I randomly generated, and it does indeed look random. Hopefully this is helpful, and I will talk to you in the next one.